Now to our other big story we're following tonight. After a nearly a year without a police chief, Oakland may be back to square one in its search. Mayor Sheng Tao rejected the police commission's short list of candidates for top cop and demanded a new set of names. The list she tossed out reportedly included ousted police chief Laron Armstrong. The mayor has said giving the old chief his job back is a non-starter. She fired him in February over his handling of a misconduct case. Armstrong appealed, and an independent reviewer found no evidence of any wrongdoing. He issued a statement tonight saying, It is unfair that I am unable to continue to serve and protect the people of Oakland. As a native of Oakland, nothing gave me greater pleasure and pride than to work in my community and fight to improve it. Or Kelsey Thord found one local business owner who would love to have him back. Businesses here in Jack London Square say they have seen a significant uptick in crime all year long. They say they want action from the city and the police department to improve things. So this latest news that the mayor rejected all three candidates on the list for that open police chief position has a lot of these business owners fed up. Are you doing okay? Yeah. All right, okay. All right. Derek Johnson first opened the home of chicken and waffles back in 2004. When we started out, it was very robust, very active in Jack London. We had Fridays, you had El Toritos, you had, you know, you had a lot of restaurants. Over the past 20 years, Derek says a lot has changed. His last year has been one of the restaurant's most difficult. I mean, just look, I mean, we've never been this slow, ever. Derek says crime in the city has caused a lot of customers to avoid the area entirely. He told me he's been trying to work with the city and police to make improvements, but that's hard when there's no police chief. You have to have leadership in any organization. You know, and I know we have an interim police chief, but we need someone that is stable, that's there, that's in the community. The mayor threatened to declare a state of emergency in Oakland if she didn't get a list of candidates by the end of the year. That's exactly what she got. So when Derek heard the mayor didn't like any of them and wanted to start over, he told me he was furious. That's disturbing because while you're playing Russian roulette with our businesses and our personal lives, your job is to protect the city and keep it safe. And right now that's not happening. Derek told me he's a supporter of former Chief Armstrong. He liked the chief when he was in the position and he wants the mayor to give Armstrong his old job back. Hire Leron back, period. He knows the city, you know, and, 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 and like everyone is saying, Oakland is a unique, you know, place. He's born and raised here. He's cares. Now, Derek told me he believes that the city should still declare a state of emergency while this police chief position remains open. The mayor's office told us that that option is off the table because the commission did give them a list of candidates before the end of the year. So we reached out to the mayor's office several times to confirm the names of the candidates that she rejected and to ask her on camera why they weren't good enough. Now, all they would give us was a statement thanking the police commission for their service and saying the mayor looks forward to working with them to find the best possible candidate.